Physical fitness tests for each component of fitness. We'll be looking at power and muscular strength. For power, it's the Margaret O'Callum and Power Test. The objective of this test is to monitor the development of the athlete's strength and speed, which equals power. This test measures how powerful the athlete is to get up nine steps. The athlete gets a 10 minute warm up before carrying out this test so they can stretch and warm up. Whilst the athlete is warming up, the assistant will put coins on the third, the sixth and the ninth step. Once the 10 minutes is up, the assistant will weigh the athlete. These will be in kg. The assistant will give the command go. The athlete will sprint and then as soon as they get to the steps, they will go up them. The assistant starts the stopwatch when the athlete's foot lands on the third step. He will then stop the stopwatch when the athlete's foot lands on the ninth step. This time will be recorded. These results will go up against normative data to see how good your athlete was. Advantages for this test. Minimal equipment required. So you need steps, a stopwatch, some combs and an assistant. It's also simple to set up and conduct. Disadvantages. Specific facilities are required, so you need steps. An assistant required to administer the test at all times, so you need someone with you. Moving on to muscular strength. The test we'll be looking at is the one rep max of bench press. This test is to measure maximum strength of various muscles and muscle groups. In this test, it will be the chest. The athlete will pick a weight that is achievable, but not too low and not too high. He will then carry out the one rep max and then have a rest of three minutes. He will then go higher and repeat the, uh, um, the steps. As soon as they get to their one rep max, they will record it. They will go up against normative data and see how good they've done. Advantages for the test. The required equipment is always available at gyms. So every gym you go to, they will have a bench press. Disadvantages. Performing a maximum weight lift is only for advanced weight trainers. And it is important to have a good technique before attempting this test. It is only at gyms, so it costs money to perform this test.